Welcome to What's Growing at CMC, the weekly segment where I, Daniel, and I, Talasha, share with you about some of what God is growing here at College Mennonite Church. With high COVID numbers and a new quickly spreading variant, plus the first snow of the season, plus people traveling, we were a small in-person group this past Sunday. Of course, we knew that meant that our virtual worshiping community was bigger than usual. What we didn't know was how compelling virtual worship is for cats. Well, at least for one cat. Rex and Marty's cat insists on watching worship with them. They report that despite repeated efforts to remove the cat from the screen, he kept hopping back up to watch. Closely. I got a very welcome piece of mail over the holidays. Eliza Method sent some artwork all the way from North Carolina. She titled it The Gourd of God and gave us permission to share it. Thank you, Eliza, for contributing to your church family, even from a distance. Some of you may know that Will Hunt has been in barber school for the last couple of years. He graduated a few months ago and is now open for business. Will's shop is currently at the corner of Baldwin and Bristol Streets in Elkhart. You'll see pictures soon of Will cutting Eli Gerber's hair. Rex Hooley reports that he plans to get haircuts from Will, since Will has assured him that he knows how to cut out the circle at the top of Rex's head. During the Christmas pageant a few weeks ago, you may have noticed that we have a lot of new families. Many are newly arrived from Latin America. Getting settled in a new place is difficult. Our church has a role to play in welcoming these newcomers and helping this become a home for them. Here's an update on that work from Jim and Lisa Kasky. Well, hello, I'm Lisa Kasky. And I'm Jim Kasky. And we're delighted to tell you about an opportunity coming up this Tuesday evening at 6.30. Tuesday evening from 6.30 to 7.30 at the church. Some years ago, we opened ourselves as a congregation to a vision that we are realizing today. We looked beyond ourselves, willing to be transformed to more closely follow Jesus. We called David and Madeline to help us reach beyond ourselves, and they have. So I remember when Bill Clinton won the presidency in 1992, and the next day he said, I feel like the German shepherd that actually caught the car. Now what do I do? That's what this is like. We have caught the car, and now we need more of us to get involved. Through David and Madeline's ministry, we have 140 men, women, and children relating to our congregation whose first language is Spanish. Wait, what? Yes, 140. Menno Simon said, true evangelical faith is of such a nature it cannot lie dormant, but spreads itself out in all kinds of righteousness and fruits of love. Okay, so here we go. Thankfully, our congregation has a history of responding to need. Now you just need to know what help looks like today, right here, right now. There are many ways we will be asking for your help. Clothing needs, furnishing homes, offering rides, but next Tuesday is your first opportunity. From 6.30 to 7.30, we will gather at the church and be relational. No experience necessary. No experience necessary? No experience necessary. Your gift doesn't even need to be hospitality or speaking Spanish. You just need a heart to help people speak English who have left most of their possessions behind and really want to learn more English. What if I don't speak Spanish? Please come. They want to speak English. Is there any reason I shouldn't come? The only thing that disqualifies you from being here is if you actually have COVID. Otherwise, you are welcome here and needed. In a COVID safe environment, we will ask questions, share stories, and get to know one another through the simple process of conversation. What if I'm nervous about what to say? We will even have established questions and ideas for how to begin conversation with a non-English speaker. And yes, some of them do know quite a bit of English. What if I say something stupid or they, they don't like me? Jim, in many cases, they have left everything behind. They will probably even like you if you smile. Will 140 people show up on Tuesday night? 
Probably not. But those who know about it are very excited for the opportunity to meet CMC participants and speak English with us. How did we get here? We didn't get here on our own. If you trust that we are all trying to faithfully follow Jesus, we are where we are because something great is happening within us and around us. I do. <laughs> then trust that this will be a wonderful evening and the start of something bigger and that more clarity will come about what's needed and what gifts you can bring as we get to know each other better. I'm in. Please join us Tuesday evening, 6.30 to 7.30. I guarantee you, lives will be transformed and it may be yours. Guess what? Today, January 6th is Epiphany. We focused on the story of the Magi's journey this past Sunday in worship, and this coming Sunday, we will get another chance to explore it. People of every age are invited to join for an Epiphany walk. We'll step into the story of the pilgrimage of the Magi with a little journey of our own. Our time together will include an outdoor walk with stops along the way to eat snacks, play games, sing, and tell stories. Dress for wintertime walking and meet in the atrium right after the worship service. We think our walk will take about 30 minutes. As we begin this new year together, remember. God was, God is, and God will be. Thanks be to God. And hoeing, there's something showing, popping up through the song. The Spirit's blowing. New life we're knowing, giving and growing in the garden of God. Reaping and sowing, planting and hoeing, there's something showing, popping up through the sod. The Spirit's blowing, new life we're knowing, giving and growing in the garden of God. Reaping and sowing, planting and hoeing, there's something showing, popping up through the sod. The Spirit's blowing, new life we're knowing, giving and growing in the garden of God.